Hello Libra and welcome to your full moon romance reading with Bella Katrina. I'm going to do a seven card layout and I've already set you up for receiving healing if you would like to in all my readings if you haven't um, experienced Reiki before this is your chance. So I've set up the love crystals. So these are rose quartz crystals. Look, this is the twin flame rose quartz. We have the amethyst love heart as well, but these are all here, rose quartz crystals and the selenite. And we've got truth, beauty and love, which is a symbol. So welcome Libra, take a big deep breath, relax. Take a load off, chill out, receive this healing if you'd like cleanses your energy field, cleanses your blood, purifies your blood, your bones, relaxes everything. It's life force that comes from the divine and we channel it here in 3D. We need help channeling it in 3D. Yes, we do. So that's why we do Reiki because it grounds it. It's three-dimensional with symbols, attunements and hands-on healing. So this is you getting receiving a distance healing. If you should so desire and would like to calm down or need some healing in a particular area, you would just say, I am receiving healing now. And then you would actually put in the place where you would like to receive it and put an intention. So I'm receiving Reiki healing now from Bella. And I intend to sleep really well tonight. Or I intend to get the energy to go forward in blah. Okay, so let's have a little look. I'm gonna do a seven card layout with Lucy Cavendish cards. <clears throat> if you know me from Psychic TV, you would know these cards. I haven't seen them on YouTube yet, so that will be exciting. Hope you subscribe to my channel. So Libra, look out. This is the theme of your reading that I've pulled out for you. Okay, so this is 10 of Cups, Blessed Love Life. Oh, look, overflowing. Mm, love, 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 love. And see the symbol on the heart? See Reiki, we work with symbols. So that's symbolizing your heart chakra. And all the cups overflowing, overflowing with love. Right, 10, blessed love life. Very nice, thank goodness for that. So we're doing these readings because it's full moon. And the energies are very intense. So that's why I like to do the healing with the reading. So setting yourself up first. So now you can receive healing messages and guidance. Just allowing this reading to wash over you if you like and taking a time out to relax and slow your mind down. So you might even want to close your eyes for the first time, listen, and then you can replay it. So <clears throat> I'm going to do this as in past, present, future. All right? Past, present, future. This is you right now. And this is like your hopes and fears. This is the energy around you or people. <coughs> excuse me. And this is the... <coughs> excuse me. This is the outcome. So in saying that, Libra. Right, you're not getting your words out. <coughs> you're not saying exactly. Because you've been through a bit of a transformation, right? Energetically. It's not that easy, is it? It hasn't been that easy for you, right? Because looking here at this is like a snapshot, right? I do full shabams that go 90 minutes or power shabams that go for two hours. Flies like that, gone. Sometimes I even take longer. So this is just a quick snapshot. But looking at this, out of seven cards, Libra, you've got major arcanas here. Major arcana. So major arcana is spiritual lesson in the tarot, if you'd like to learn tarot ask me I've got a workshop for you so good you learn it really quickly here two three four four major spiritual lessons in just a snapshot seven card reading it's epic right epic so look it's really um, quite amazing to have the scales because I haven't seen them yet and you're the second last reading for the stars so you've got the justice card. Can you believe that? Being a Libra, a Libran. Okay, so let's go to the very beginning in the past right here. You've redefined who you are. 
and you've done it very well because it's like I don't want to do that anymore right I want to do this like I'm really good at this this is where my talents are this is where my skills are go to my mermaids and dolphins reading mermaids and dolphins part one part two it's all about this card, skabilities, your skills, your abilities, you knowing you can refine it and then you get a healing on it. It's really, really, really powerful, amazing. So, <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. Libra. Even though the temperature has turned here. Skills and talents and abilities, right? This is in the past. Am I using them all? Am I promoting them? This is like new marketing materials, it might be new, um, you know, office frontage, new stationery, new business card, new flyers. It's This is new marketing materials I get for you, right? Because you figured out what you want, how you want to be portrayed, if you like. So here is this healing. This is a second chance for you, Libra. So this is like a starting over, let's start fresh, right? Maybe I did that business in the past, but now I'm going to start fresh because I learned that I don't like doing this, this and this. I'm really much better at these skills. So here's your second chance at it here. They're, they're asking you in this, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I was asking for confirmation because I was going to say, and anyway, I'm going to say it. This, this is like... Um, don't sign the contract. But you know, I was going to say, oh, it's time to sign the contract because why would it be no? And then the OM fell. So it's like, don't sign the contract because this is your second chance, right? You don't have to sign the contract. You need to write it. Yeah? Yeah. So you need to write this agreement. You need to write it. This also just quickly came up for me was, um, you know, a resurgence of a love in an existing relationship. A resurgence, a recommitment. You have to say, what do you want? What level of commitment? What does commitment even look like to you? You know, I say, I want commitment. You say, you want commitment. It's like, oh, totally different things. Because this is what commitment looks like. Oh, no, commitment doesn't look like that for me. Commitment looks like this. It's like, oh, how would I know? So this is you defining what does commitment look like to me. It can be in any area, but we're looking in here as in how, this is like committing to yourself, that you're going to stand by yourself. This has been tough, Libra, and really tough. Right? But you've done it. It's like building muscle. It's like, you know, tough training. Tough training here. Tough training. Right? And look at you go. You're getting stronger. So this is like doing weights. You've done the mental weights. Ugh. But you're really good on the mental plane, remember, right? So when you put a good thought in, it manifests quite quickly with you because you're used to these thoughts going over and over. So here's a bit of time for you to encourage yourself and have a little step back and go, wow, look how far I've come. Look how I've redefined myself. Look, I'm reinventing myself, right? This is what I wanted. Gosh, this is like, I don't really know what to do next or... Um, you know, like I'm panicking because I know I should be doing stuff because there'd be so much to do, but yet I feel like I can't go there because of that. It hasn't gone through and I can't sign that paper because this hasn't happened and I can't, you know, so it's like, I'll just sit here. This is like being in a minefield, right? So you can't move anywhere. You're not meant to. Sometimes the universe just wants you to stay still and preferably no thinking here, right? Because you're putting the past of all the thinking and worries to rest there's no worries now this is laying down of the worries laying down the swords laying down of the fight surrender if you like and then leaving it walking away from it walking away because this is the new me right this has happened internally and it's about to you're about to show it to the world because first we change internally and you didn't know how to do it don't know how to do it what move should I make should I tell them should I just come out and say it right I'm coming out and it might actually be coming out. So that goes against, this is traditions, right, and values. It's like how am I going to tell my parents that, and come out to my parents around this, whatever it may be. It could be sexuality. It could be, you know, that I'm going, I've decided to do this as my vocation, right? So it's going to take strength to do it. But you've, it's like you've psyched yourself into it, right? 
You psyched yourself in, I'm going to tell these people, I'm going to do it my way. I'm writing my own traditions. I'm writing my own religion. <laughs> yeah. I'm writing my own spirituality. And look, it's going to work out for me. So this is like caution to the wind. I don't care. I've got to be me. Right? And I'm going to choose me. It's honourable choices, Justice. Right? It's karmic. It's like, well, I'm going to look after me first. No more sacrificing what I feel and what I think and turning it down and toning it down for others and putting this mask on. Uh-uh, I'm going to write it my way. This is my story. It's almost like writing your happy, happily ever after. This is like writing it. And some of you might be writers because I just saw scenes or a play or scenes in a play. Wow. So this is like, uh, I'm not really an accountant anymore, right? I'm a screenwriter, a screenplay writer. Oh, right. Okay, well, you know, this is the family business, so you can't leave it, even though you're a screenwriter now that we didn't know about. Like, they laugh at you, they don't care, they're going to cut you off from the contract, right? Or my, my fiancé or my, you know, partner won't like me doing that because I've always been here and reliable, well, F that, right? This is my turn now. I could care less. And I'm going to do it my way, which honours me, because then I'm going to be a happier person to be around. <laughs> Go, Libra, because this is what you want here. So I've just had another card, and you saw it, right? Stress and anxiety, you've got to get a grip on this. Because these, these swords aren't hurting you. They're not hurting you. It's just bad lighting I've got now, because the sun's going down. It takes a long time to do it in all these readings. Stress and anxiety, you've got to get a grip. Right, lay the swords down. So you've got to get a way to think around this. I'm just going to do another two. Pause and observe, right? That's again being stuck in the minefield. Well done, don't do anything. And it happens your way. You're not going to fit in with other people anymore. You're just not going to do it. Right, and that it just starts giving you so much power. The next two weeks, right, you don't have to do much because it's like the swimming pool is filling up. You can't go for a swim yet. <laughs> but you can practice writing the scenes, right? You can practice. We want you to write down, we, the angels and I, want you to write down the next six months and how does it go. So come Christmas time, what do you want to have happen? What is your intention? What do you intend to happen? Right. Well, I'm not only in my new vocation as a screenwriter, but I've actually been funded by the blah, blah, blah to create a la-la-la for the la-la-la and it's in California or it's in whatever. So the more details you can put in here, this is also like writing down your contract to the universe. Like, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get really happy, I'm going to shine my light, I'm going to have full self-expression and I'm going to just channel love, right? And in return, right, what are you going to give me, universe? Well, I need to be paid. How much do I need to be paid? How much am I going to work? What is going to happen? It's almost like writing your own... Um, you know, everything, writing it yourself, writing your dis position description. You know, what are you doing here on the planet? Because right, it's your turn. You can have anything you want. So what do you want? Libra, what do you want? Because it's just, you've got to, this is like plan, right? You've done the, you've got the realisation, the awakening. And here, like, what the hell do I do now? I'm not this person anymore. I want to do this. Right, so you're in the middle. This is what the full moon's all about. It's like, uh, all the fears of why it won't work, that's all clearing out. That's why you have to write down your fears and burn them. That's what the full moon's about. I've done heaps of things on the full moon. Look on my YouTube channel for uh, Release with Fire. It's called Release with Fire. Because that would really help you. Because it would clear out all that and start the fresh. Okay, new chapter. This is a new play. How does it go? How does it go, Libran? How does it go, Libra? Well, actually, the outcome's fantastic because of all the work I put in and because of all my honourable choices and sticking by myself and being a clear channel and, you know, putting in a clear order, right? I actually want this. I want emotional fulfilment. I want happiness at a level that I've never experienced before. I want riches and abundance and I want freedom and I want to shine my light so bright that I could care less what anybody else thinks and I get rewarded from the universe with serendipity, good timing, Because now I'm sharing who I really am. 
This is who I really am. And it doesn't conform with the, your tradition or your religion or your rules, but with mine. Oh, very exciting. Go Libra. This is an exciting month for you. Okay, so with that, we're going to do a one more. I hope you're feeling good. If you are Reiki attuned, just put hands on your heart chakra and say hands on Reiki on. I just saw hands on heart. So that's like a court, you know, when you say, oh, it's like an oath. So this is a massive commitment here. It's like the don't go into a commitment where you swear on the Bible, right? Unless it's what you wrote. How do you want it to go? Because if you're in court, right, or if you've been summoned by somebody, you need to really hold on to that outcome. It's going to be fair and just for all involved, but what is it, right? It's like you got to get, it's like you might need some guidance in that. So you might need to go within so you can not go without. So yeah, figuring out what do I want here? Because you didn't do anything really. You didn't do anything wrong. You just didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. So that was about the legal thing. Just came in. We're going to see what Archangel is with you here. Oh, it's going to work out in your favor. Stop worrying. This could have been a court case or it's the law. So all is well. We've got Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah. So everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So this is like, um, I liken this card to, you know, when you're looking, you got dirty socks, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And you black socks and you've got them in the wash and you're hand washing them and everything looks dirty for a minute right and then you keep going and then you rinse and then you keep going and then boom they come up nice and clean well you're at the stage where everything looks dirty you don't know what to do but be rest assured that all is well this is all going to work out in your favor so i'd like you to take a pen and paper and write down right i release any fears and i now thank you for the wonderful outcome to this situation which is fair and just for all involved and you can call in mart m -A, a t to help with this if you need it or you can book a full shaban with bella katrina if you wanted to we can go right into that so i wanted to thank the guides angels and masters for coming in for libra tonight we thank libra for being so strong so patient and for being so courageous in bringing the new skills your new transformation your new awakening the new you to the universe under your own terms knowing that it's fair and just for all involved because that's who you are we bring thank you the guides angels and masters for coming in we ask Archangel Michael to seal your energy down now for protection. We ask Uriel to slow your mind down and give you guidance, ideas, aha-ha moments. And for them to surround you day and night so that you may step forward fearlessly into your wonderful future full of joy, happiness and love. If you would like to book a reading, a full shabam or a power shabam, please look me up on Bella Katrina. Just Google me or go straight to my website. I love you and I wish you the happiest full moon. And just know that things are going to get better and it's going to go all your way, Libra, all your way. So finish that sentence. If I had it all my way and tell us, how would it go? I thank you and I love you. Thank you for your time and your attention.